Hello there. Let me get the sound down here. Hey, it's Terry Britton, and uh, this is a video where I'm going to explain how to record from your speakers to include your media player or your game audio and the microphone at the same time as you're hearing where I'm playing right now some music from iTunes and at the same time uh, recording into the microphone. So, how do you do this? Well, first of all, open up your sound control panel. Now, there's three ways to do this. Uh, you can go to your control panel flyouts, as I have here, and go to sound right here. And that will bring this up. Another way you can get to this is um, to open up the control panels so that you see all of them and scroll on down near the bottom and you'll see sound. And the third way, and the way I prefer, is to go down here to the bottom to the little speaker icon, right click and select either playback devices or recording devices and it brings up the same thing. Okay? Now, the first thing you want to do is make sure that Stereo Mix is selected as the default device in the recording tab. Now if you don't see Stereo Mix in here, it may simply be hidden or disabled. Uh, right click on the white area of the background and make sure Show Disabled Devices and Show Disconnected Devices are both checked. Then, if that makes this appear, it may not be enabled yet. You right click on it and like here, you'll see a enable. So you right click on it and where it says disable now, it'll say enable. So just simply enable it and then set it as the default device. Okay, so you right click on it. It already is the default device. So uh, it's, it'll have a green check next to it if you've got it selected correctly. Okay, so that's uh, very important. Now let's double click on it and go to levels and make sure the levels are at 100. This is the main output device that is going to Camp Studio as a recorder. So uh, you want all of its output to be sent out the door to Camp Studio. Okay? So there you have it. Set that to 100. Now also in the recording tab, make sure your line in or mic in, depending on how you're inputting your mic. In my case, I'm coming in through the line input because I've got a microphone plugged in through a mixer uh, and then into the line in. So you want to absolutely make sure that in the listen tab here that you have this checked right here. Listen to this device. This is what passes this through to the speakers and you must have speakers selected from this drop down list. Not anything else. Play it safe. Have speakers selected. Okay? Now the reason for this is that the stereo mix signal actually is derived from the speaker's subsystem, okay? So, from the playback subsystem in this playback tab. So, it's sort of a loop-de-loop. -loop. It's uh, getting its signal from the record tab, but is going to a playback tab device, which is speakers, and from the speakers, it goes back out again to the record tab for the stereo mix. Okay, so that's the uh, signal path as far as I've been able to derive it. But uh, nothing works if you don't have listen to this device directed to speakers. Then in your levels, set your levels anywhere from 10 to, oh, 75, 80. The um, reason I have mine set so low is because my line in on my sound card is really quite noisy and picks up a lot of motherboard noise. Uh, kind of a whine sound and uh, another kind of just background chatter noise of uh, what things that my motherboard is doing. So by setting this very very low I cut down the amount of signals coming from the motherboard and then in my mixer I crank up the microphone levels pretty high without uh, overloading the input channels and um, and that way I get a pretty good signal to noise ratio. However, if you're using a microphone input 
I found that the mic inputs are pretty darn quiet already, and so you can push them up a lot higher, and plus you have to anyway because you can't really amplify them any other way than by using the slider that's in the levels uh, tab there for the properties. So again, you your levels tab and your slider, and this controls the amount of signal coming out again to the speaker, sending it to the speakers because you're listening and sending it to speakers, okay? To the speaker subsystem. Okay, now with that done, very important, select the playback tab and make sure speakers is selected as your default. If you have headphones selected as the default, uh, even with no headphones plugged in, so it falls back to the speakers, the media player or the game audio won't get routed to the stereo mix. It'll disappear. You'll have microphone, but you won't have any media player or game audio. So uh, make sure that that is set to uh, default, okay? Then double click on it and set your levels so that your main output is all the way up. This is, if you do want to do headphone monitoring through a trick I'll show you in a second, this will have to be up to be able to have that be audible. But the main signal path that is being sent from the stereo mix is right down here at the bottom in my Realtek card. And it's called front. And this is set, I set it between 40 and 50. This is actually doing quite a bit of amplification and boosting of the signal. And uh, it's what actually is delivering the signal to the stereo mix. If you have this set too high, you'll find stereo mix is overloading a lot. And this is why, because this is the speaker subsystem. It's amplifying the signal a little bit. It's not a pure pass-through. It is a um, amplified pass-through. As you can see, if I change this, it's lowering and raising the levels, okay? So, um, so make sure that that is set around 40, even th I've seen people do 30, 35. Uh, do some checks and see if you're overloading it. I found 40 to be a comfortable level because even music just pushing pretty hard doesn't seem to overload. So that must be kind of the uh, unity gain adjustment right about there. Okay, now you'll notice some sliders up here, line in, mic in. These only adjust the pass-through if you've got the Realtek sound manager. And let me pull that over here, in fact, and show you some tricks. Now, in the Realtek, you've got this device advanced settings thing here, right here in the Realtek Audio Manager. And this, again, this is in your control panels. So you would get to it by either using the control panel flyout and going to Realtek HD Audio Manager or by opening the control panels themselves, scrolling down near the bottom, and here's the Realtek HD Audio Manager, okay? And uh, here under Device Advanced Settings, you can click that and check this box, and it will pass through the uh, mic in or the line in to the front panel headphone jack, all right? And that way you can at least monitor your line input or your mic input and hear what you're saying and be able to monitor whether you're close enough to the mic or, you know, just what's going on. It's very helpful to have headphones on while you're recording and be able to hear yourself. Some people don't feel the need, but I don't know, I like it. I like to know how close I am to the mic, whether I'm getting too much proximity effect, things like that. So uh, make sure that's checked, and then you'll find these sliders here affect this slider here affects the level of the pass-through, okay? And that's why you're having this all the way up because this is the master volume. It affects all these things from panel down here and the pass-through. So leave that all the way up and adjust your output through that front panel thing. Okay, as long as I'm over here on the Realtek HD Manager, let's cover a couple other things. You wanna make sure your sound effects are all set to none. It's the reset button to do that. We'll just drop this down and set, set it to none. And um, also, double check you don't have your karaoke. There's no red X over the mouth of the uh, karaoke character. Listen, what happens. This is what happens if you do that. It uh, scoops out the mid-range to make room for 
your voice over a regular microphone, but anything going through the speakers, uh, which is what is delivered to Stereo Mix, gets scooped, and it sounds like that. Terrible. So make sure that's not checked. Also, while we're at it, make sure your default formats are all 16 bits, 44, uh, 1K hertz. Uh, and all of those, the Stereo Mix 2, Line In, may as well, because that's the ultimately what's going to be delivered to Cam Studio. Okay? Alright, so that done. Now, you will want to check your, your mix, because as you saw, um, I, turn, I have my audio down pretty darn low. In fact, I don't have any music playing at all. I'll go ahead and run it again. And, um, and you uh, can use the sliders here. This is the volume mixer, and I get to that by right-clicking on my little speakers and selecting Open Volume Mixer. And if you click on the sliders, I don't know, I'm hoping this is recording, I get a number. You know, I'm at 9 right now. So you see the number change. That change. There you go, very loud. There we go, let me turn this back down again to 9 or so. And uh, you want to keep your music really low. A lot of people make the mistake of having that too high. Now, you can monitor through your headphones what's going on with your mix, but I recommend doing this only temporarily by going to Stereo Mix to the Listen tab and clicking Listen to the Device and sending it to the headphones. So when you click Apply, you hear the mix. The problem with this is, is that you get about a tenth of a second delay and it's totally maddening. Only useful for a quick check. You can leave this panel up. If you've got two monitors, you can leave it over on the right or something. I don't know. Um, and just kind of pop in here every so often and uh, double check things to make sure your signal's okay. Um, it will drive you completely mad if you try to leave it on. So, so anyway, that's that's my other recommendation is how to how to monitor things. Okay. So, uh, anyway, so that's how I use that um, to do it. You can also use your Realtek uh, manager to adjust such things as um, the other levels, but I recommend just going with the level settings I was talking about rather than using these, uh, since that's at 100 anyway. Uh, I've got my recording volume. It also displays numbers. And, um, but heck, usually you set it and forget it and get everything set right. The only place you'd be needing to change the volumes is in your media player anyway, which you can do on the media player itself or through the slider. The reason I like this is because it does give me a numbered readout. So I know where I'm at. Since I can't hear it, I'm having to fly by instruments. This is a useful thing. Okay? Alright, so just as a Run down again. Quick synopsis of the settings. Oh, I should tell you, by the way, after you're done, when you want to hear it back through your headphones, if you've been monitoring through the headphones, you'll have to right-click on headphones and set its default device in order to hear your playback from Camp Studio or from your media player again. All right. Um, and then switch it back if you're going to record some more takes. All right, so a synopsis of the gain staging again is that I've got my line in or microphone in and um, and so you want to re- get that adjusted where you get a good healthy amount of input with the least amount of noise. You want to have your stereo mix levels at 100 and you want to have your speakers set with the main output at 100 and the front, since I'm in two speak stereo, the front set around 40. That seems to be unity gain. And then you adjust your music source so that it sounds comfortable uh, riding underneath the sound of your voice. Okay, well, I hope this was all very helpful. Uh, please do comment on what I might have left out, um, any questions you might have, uh, you know, but especially anything you think I should be adding in that would be useful to know, okay? I try to keep all of the uh, all of the tips and stuff all together. Now, um, 
I've got this in writing over at the Camp Studio support forum, and I'll probably copy that below this video that will be available at YouTube. So uh, anyway, yes, keep me posted, let me know, give me some feedback, and take care.